Konnichiwa gamers, how's it going? You didn't even say gamers in Japanese, you freaking. What's idiot. gamers in Japanese then, Spencer? I don't know. Good talk. <laughs> <laughs> and. Tails has a bomb. <laughs> Pretty good. The hacker, the hacker, sacker, the macker. I feel like Sonic's dialect never left the 80s. Well, I wouldn't say necessarily 80s. He or because he didn't exist in the 80s. But oh, not 80s. He's you know. a 90s baby. So, yeah, he'd never really get rid of that. I meant 90s, my bad. That's okay. Baldy McNose hair. Ha ha. Um, Sonic, you're so funny. We're gonna skip this so we can actually move on. <gasps> we see more Orbot and Cubot. Just Orb. No, yeah, they're both in this one. Where did this is the first Orbot, game in, right? No, Orbot was in Unleashed. This is the first one that Cubot's in. It's, oh, freaking Cubot with your voice problems, you silly man. Was there any reason to have Orbot and Cubot, or were they just kind of there? They. They're basically just like henchmen. They're the silly henchmen duo that are comic relief. They're really good in the comics. Which, oh boy, the Sonic comics. The, the Archie days. Alright, in the beginning, it was good. Then it went off on a weird turn with Ken Penders because he was trying to, like, do some really weird stuff with, like, all the characters and, like, having a bunch of, like, Knuckles' family, which is weird because Knuckles is the last echidna. So is that family. Takio and all that? Yeah. Um, and then eventually he was fired, so they had to like swap universes or something. Um, Just like probably Marvel's gonna do after any of them. I don't know. Don't spoil it for me. Yeah, that at, at this point, I haven't seen it, but some people have theorized that they're going to move on to an universe or something. Do you want me to confirm or deny that? Neither. Because that's a dumb theory, anyway. Um. Anyway. So he yeah. realizes he can probably get way much money by just like doing this and not doing anything evil. He could, but he wouldn't need money if he takes over the world. All right, where do you want to go? Do you want to go to the Planet Wisp? What's the with water the metal Sonic? That's uh, nothing yet. Or do you want to go to the weird rocket roller coaster place? Weird rocket roller coaster. Okay. Asteroid Coaster, here we come. If I play this right, I should be able to get this whole thing done in this episode. Wasn't this pretty radical? No. <laughs> Just Sonic jumps up and freaking dies. Yeah, and then made a gameplay. Oh. You gotta wonder, where the frick did Eggman get all this stuff to make this? There's, where did he get the resources? Oh, this is just another planet that he took hold of, so this was already there. I'm shaking as hard as I can. Like, but, like still all the metal and stuff is there. Wait, go what's go back, go backwards! Up? What's his power-up called? Um, pff, I don't know. Something weird. Can I go through here? Thank you. Frenzy. There we go. Yeah, oh, this it's is just kind of bigger. A, yeah. yeah it's... Sounds like that uh, one Powerpuff Girls thing. I, you keep mentioning Powerpuff Girls, but I've never seen Powerpuff Girls. I've mentioned it. That was the first time I mentioned it. I think you mentioned something about Powerpuff Girls in a previous time. I don't remember what it was. It might have been Wii Sports. I don't think so. Anyway, just like uh, Professor Plutonium or whatever his name is makes a. Uh, like creature that you can only feed once and like the more you feed it like the bigger it gets and it just ends up like killing a lot of stuff. That sounds like some fan art waiting to happen. I'm sure. <laughs> Where's the uh, Powerpuff Girl fan art community at? Frick! Oh, po okay, alright. Did that... you just skip part of the level? Mm, I don't think so. I just fell through the floor. I, was standing in the I used to be really bad at that as a kid because I didn't know that you had to. Press that. 
one of the games I want to revisit as it uh, is older and more experienced. I was thinking of this the other day, and now I can't remember what the frick it was. SpongeBob SquarePants on the Leap Pad. I could never figure that out as a kid. I had that game. I know exactly what you're talking like, about. Finding the Krabby Patty formula. That was so. I could to me. never get it either. My cousin got it, but then again, he was like a lot older than me. And really, what was it? <sighs> That's beyond me. I still don't know. I never gained that. I think knowledge. my friend figured it out. Frenzy. I think it was a DS game that I had. Oh, I had it on the booster. No, 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 I'm talking about the game that I wanted to revisit. Because oh. there was this game that I would just get stuck on this one level, like, every time that I could never figure out. Hmm. It'll come to me later, eventually. That's good. Yeah. Let's break him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, we're golden wind. <laughs> Still on this world. Ugh. Is this not a good world? Nah, it's kind of boring. And it gets kind of difficult a little bit. But we should be fine because it's still just Sonic Colors. Mm -hmm. Say that now. Hardest Sonic game. Hardest Sonic game? Sonic 2 because of the ending final boss. You have to do a Metal Sonic fight without rings, and then you still don't have rings for the Eggman fight, which is oh just yeah, very difficult. I could that might have been never, it. That I have never beaten that game without cheats. I, I have never beaten it either. I I know I, I I've gotten past Metal Sonic multiple times, and I think I got decently far into Eggman's, and then I would just fail. I think that might have been the game I was thinking of, because I could no, never beat that. Oh okay. There was also Sonic there. Generations. I could never figure out you how to get be, past like, the like, on the DS? Generations? Yeah, what'd you play Generations on? Uh, 360. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, I... Generations is fine for me, but... I don't know. Sonic 2 is... I, I'd say that's the hardest Sonic game. Or any of the Game Gear ones. Because of the screen. Nice. Thank you, Sonic. Very cool. Whoa, 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 whoa! You can't just throw that at me, okay? But they did. Well, they can't. It's illegal. Have you had a job yet? Um, self-employed mower. Do you, like, do you actually put yourself out there, so? I did, but I don't anymore because I'm gonna go get a real job. There you go. Doing a bagger, you know, putting some stuff where it needs to be. Um, so I can I start telling work stories? Why not? We we don't really have anything better going on right now. All right. So the first night ever that I worked was a Christmas party uh, with a bunch of doctors and surgeons and stuff. Oh, you mean my Christmas party? Yeah, that was a great time. Freaking. Um, and so this one lady, there was the bar, of course, of course. Um, and being a minor, I wasn't allowed to work at, uh, but, um, we had people working the bar, and at one point they had to leave to help us out with something, mm. and they come back and there was like these dudes behind the bar. Just serving drinks out for like, for, I think they were doing it for free, and they just basically took over and we had to kick them out, and they were super pissed about it. I'm just like, okay. And then later, a lady got like really hammered actually, and was like passed out sleeping on some chairs. Oh, and nice. One lady took her bra off, and like, I'm just like, yeah, I'm just gonna stay. Whoa, whoa, okay, what the heck. And, and that was the point at which I decided to stay um, in the kitchen and not uh, hmm. But other than that, I haven't had any bad experiences. Most of them have been good. 
I, I did, they did pay for the bar for an extra hour, and I got a $25 tip because of that, because an extra hour was uh, 100 bucks. And the four was working. Nice. Pretty nice. This sounds like Mario Party 8 mi minigame music. Hmm. Can't say that I see that. Oh, okay. That just kind of happened, I didn't. Just a little bit. <sighs> Let's see other work stories. Hmm. Uh, so I actually worked... Uh, the day of this recording session, it's the 27th. Uh, I actually, the day after Endgame came out. Yep. I actually um, worked today from 10 to 5. And there, there were these little boys there. And they had like... They had... Uh, gray slacks, um, these adorable pink vests, and they were, oh my gosh, you're precious. Were they I'm... thick? <laughs> no, they were, they were, because they were young enough that I can call them adorable. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Okay. And That's they were very, they level. were very nice, and, uh... It was actually my first wedding uh, that I had to work. What do those blue things do? Uh, nothing right now. Frick. Uh, okay. Whoa, gamer. Uh, just like speedrun it. Could have gone by now. Okay, what the heck? Hmm. Oh wait, can I jump on them? Hmm. Okay. There you go. Oh. Again, man. You have to time it right. I did time that one. No, you did it. The games you were, agree with me. Try it on this first one here. Let it extend and then jump onto it. You can do it. You just have to it right. Nope. Okay, wait, wait. I was on that though. No. Yeah. You want me to try? No, I do not. Alright, I'll try and try to fight. You fail again. You have to wait for it to turn red and they just about come out. There you go. Sheesh. Why? Why do? Sometimes it'd be like that, but sometimes it too. Wait, so they had you do that only to go back instantly. Well, frick. Okay. Cool. I guess I'm just not supposed to get up there now. <sighs> okay, so we just, uh... Hmm. Hold up. Perfect. Oh. Freaking stomp! Mm. <sighs> okay, B button, I'm gonna keep my finger off of you. <laughs> what? Let's just try this. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Turns out we didn't have to get on it. I'm just a dumb. <laughs> Personal Wait, best. Wait, did I already ask you what the best Sonic game is? In your opinion? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. I'd have to say Generations or Mania. Hmm. X4. Pastry. Wasn't there an RPG Sonic? Like, a turn-based RPG Sonic? Uh, probably. 
Oh, I think it was on the DS, and I heard it wasn't very good. The Chronicles or something? Yeah, I think that's what it was. I tried it out, but the combat, I'm getting around, you need, like, the stylus. You, so you don't like, like RPGs, do you? I like some RPGs if they're good. Pokemon. The Sonic one just wasn't that good. Like, you have to walk around with the stylus, and that's just weird. Mm, yeah, why would you do that, actually? I don't know, I have Sega. There's better options there. Um, what did I say? Uh, that's not important. There was a RPG series for Flash game. There was a Sonic RPG series for Flash. Hmm. And from what I remember, it wasn't bad. You mean like the one that was on YouTube? Like the... It was like the Super Mario Brothers Z or something. No. Speed run skip. Oh, that rings or not. Just got a damage boost through it. I forget what it was called. Anyway, Sonic Flash gets to a whole other beast. Um, do we just go up? Whoa, no, just give me up. I'll be the right way. Okay, let's go. Ah. There we go. That's not the way. Just got shot, boy. Gun! And delete this. Frenzy! I can't get over how he sounds like he's from my Slam. Jam. On, slam. And welcome to the jam. Welcome to almost the end of the episode. We can. I'm just gonna finish this world out. We're really close. All right. Can I talk about Persona Five? Because I. I guess. All right. Do you like Persona Five? I mean, I have no opinion. I haven't played it. But do you want to play it? I mean, yeah. Because I mean, it looks Dalton interesting. Wouldn't like it. All right. Probability of it coming to Switch. Uh. Technically, a version of it is coming to Switch, just not you Persona know, You know 5. what I mean, like, the, like either Persona 5 or Persona 5 The Royal. I'd say we have a 60% chance of it actually coming. I'd say a high chance. Because, I mean, we got Joker and Smash, and we got this Persona game coming to Switch. And it's just kind of... Atlas has released a lot of games on the DS that... I think are now collector's items. A lot of Atlas games are collector's items now. Mm. So it's not like Atlas games haven't been on Nintendo before. And I mean, we have Persona stuff on the Switch. We have um, we have Joker and Smash, and like all that music. And then we are gonna get that next game, which I'm probably gonna buy. I don't um, know, it kind of just looks like a Hyrule Warriors type of game. And I've never played really one, so I mean, why not? And there was actually a Persona 5 uh, game on the 3DS. What was it called? I can't remember. But it was not a main series, like... A weird... The Q one? First, yeah, that's it. Oh, Underwater Frenzy, okay. So it doesn't mean you shouldn't have back. Or not. It there. Hmm. Cool. Thank you, Sonic. Very cool. Is it not going to respawn? It will. Fun there. A little bit. Try uh, calling it out. Do you know what it means when I say that? Yeah, that won't work. Don't activate it. Don't activate it. Can it not work? It doesn't work on the water, maybe. Oh, there, 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 there.
Okay. Oh, okay. Ooh, boy. Oh, this is gonna... What do you think killed Sonic games? What? What do you think killed Sonic games? Poor gameplay? Bad storytelling? Mm. Well... Sonic 06 being a game... Sonic 06 could have been great. It but... really could have. I, I like Silver as a character and the entire thing of... Uh, you know... Silver's actually one of my favorite Sonic characters. Yeah, I can see that. Not because he's, like, edgy for a while, but just because I think he's cool. I don't remember this thing at all, but okay. Oh, nope, okay. Who would have thought? Red stuff hurt. Get bigger every time. <laughs> you know it. Oh, there See, we go. Who's your favorite Sonic character? Um, I'm keen to Tails. I like Tails Shadow. Uh, oh, it's so cool. I like Tails. Tails um, is good. I'd say top three for me. No particular order. Tails. Um, Silver and What's his name? I can't think of their name. I'm trying. Um, I'm trying so hard. They're like, why do I need to damage the freaking spotlights? What will that do? I don't know. We're breaking it. Yawn. I can't remember the next character. Oh, yeah, it teleports. I forgot about that. I'll tell you, uh, Tails, I mean, not Tails, Sticks is not on anyone's list. No, Sticks is great. What are you talking about? I don't like Sticks. As I said, you're just not necessarily a Sonic fan. That's true, I guess. Mm. I don't know. My opinion on Amy has changed. I like Boom Amy a lot compared to regular Amy. X Amy is pretty alright, except she's literally uh, she's so crazy. She's Sonic crazy, and it kind of kills her character. Uh, what was that? That was supposed to be a boost thing, but I guess it doesn't work. There's orange. Yeah, it's a rocket. Okay. Thank you, Sonic. Very cool. What's your opinion on uh, Sonic and the Black Knight? Nah. I don't really like any of the storybook games. So, Secret Rings, something else. Yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of that one either. I did, I never played Secret Rings, but I did play uh, Black Knight. It was too, boy. See, I like games that have good narrative and good world building. I mean, it has a narrative, but it's just not a good one. Because mm. I, I watched all the cutscenes on YouTube. As you do, yes. And it made no sense. Mm. It's really just uh, supposed to be like the tale of King Arthur. Except it's really bad. It's really bad telling of it. Mm. Uh, speaking of which, King Arthur is kind of a weird story. There's a freaking hilt that makes him invulnerable. He's not hilt, like... Uh... What's it called? Sheath? Sword sheath? Probably. That, like, literally makes him immortal. We're not far enough, though? Okay. Why is your thing sleeping? Um, I don't know. I guess I just can't use it. 
Let's uh, stop doing this. Can I use it now? Okay. Wrong way. Oh, oh, I guess that just skips that. That's nice, actually. Interesting, but makes no sense. Just like the rest of Sonic. I appreciate that. How much more do I have to do to this? Okay, it's done. I'm surprised that you don't like uh, Freedom Planet. I've played two seconds of it. So I can't really have much of an opinion on it. Yeah. I just didn't like the laptop controls. Anyway, That's pretty good. oh boy, 25 minutes. That's gonna do it for this Don't episode. Don't scream at us. Well, yeah. Who cares? Well, next. See you more.